Hey everyone, welcome back to Cognac. Today, we're talking about something that every car enthusiast has an opinion on. BMW's X-Drive, Mercedes Fomatic, and Audi's Quattro. Now, I actually own both X-Drive in my BMW 7 Series and Quattro in my Audi S5, so I've felt the difference firsthand. The S5's Quattro feels better when putting the power down, while the 7 Series feels unbeatable when the weather turns wet or icy. But what's really going on underneath? Let's break it down, one system at a time. BMW's X-Drive is all about balance and reaction. It's not just a mechanical all-wheel drive system. It's predictive. It started as a traditional re-biased system but has evolved into one of the most adaptive all-wheel drive setups on the market. Normally, X-Drive sends 40% of power to the front and 60% to the rear, but it can adjust that distribution within milliseconds, sending up to 100% of torque to either axle if needed. It constantly monitors throttle input, wheel speed, steering angle, yaw rate, and even lateral acceleration to anticipate slip before it happens. That's why when you're driving a BMW in the rain, you'll feel the system shifting power proactively to maintain control. On the road, X-Drive feels planted but still dynamic. Because it's rear biased, you can still rotate the car into a corner under throttle. It keeps that BMW DNA sporty, balanced and composed, even when it's putting power to all four wheels. But it does come with a trade-off. It's heavier, more complex, and not quite as raw or connected as Quattro when you're pushing hard. Next up, Mercedes Formatic. While BMW's X-Drive focuses on agility, Mercedes built Formatic around confidence and consistency. It's all about stability and refinement, especially in larger, heavier cars. In most modern Formatic systems, torque is distributed roughly 45% front and 55% rear, but it's heavily dependent on the model. In performance AMGs, like the E63S, Formatic Plus even allows fully variable torque distribution. It can disconnect the front axle entirely and become pure rear-wheel drive when you want it to. The system uses a multiplate clutch or center differential that constantly adjusts torque split to maximize grip, with traction control and ESP systems finely tuned for smoothness. The result, Formatic is incredibly composed. You can feel it quietly sorting out traction before you even realize the surface has changed. If X-Drive feels reactive and playful, Formatic feels calculated and graceful. It doesn't fight physics, it manages them beautifully. And that's exactly what Mercedes buyers want. Now, let's talk about the legend, Quattro. Audi pioneered all-wheel drive for performance cars in the 1980s, and the DNA of that rally heritage is still alive today. The Quattro system has evolved massively over the years, from the early torsion and torque sensing differentials to the modern electronically controlled clutch-based systems. The key difference is that Quattro isn't just about reacting, it's about maintaining constant grip and forward momentum. The system can send as little as 30% torque to the front or as much as 85% to the rear, depending on the model. In my Audi S5, you can really feel it. When you launch hard Quattro hooks up instantly, there's no drama, no slip, just pure traction. It feels mechanical, direct, and brutally effective. And that's why it's often said that Audi's Quattro is unbeatable in real-world traction, snow, rain, or even dry tarmac launches. It's like the power is glued to the road. It also gives you that sense of confidence that even when conditions are unpredictable, the car will just stick. It might not rotate as eagerly as X-Drive in corners, but for putting down power, it's hard to beat. So, which is best? X-Drive feels like a driver's all-wheel drive system. It wants you to play. Mercedes Formatic feels like a luxury guardian angel, always in control, never intrusive. And Quattro feels like a force of nature, relentless, mechanical, and proven. For me, the BMW 7 Series X-Drive is brilliant in bad weather. It just glides through wet roads and icy mornings without breaking a sweat. But when I get into my S5, that Quattro system just feels alive. You can sense every bit of torque being transferred perfectly to the ground. In the end, they all achieve the same thing in completely different ways. That's the beauty of engineering philosophy. Three brands, one goal, and three distinct personalities. Which one would you trust the most? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, consider subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. This has been Cognac. Catch you in the next one.